Hello everyone and welcome back to our results video for box showdown number three. In this particular showdown there were only three boxes unfortunately, but the next one should be a little bit more lengthy and have more content. So not much as far as doing a real results, but I'm going to go with what we have and to begin with I want to make an official announcement that our channel name is changing from the Lundra Alliance to Celestial Guardian Alliance. And the reason that this is happening is me and a friend of mine that are trying to build this into something better, we decided that the name was kind of odd. <laughs> and even though there was some story behind it, we feel this would be better because with Celestial Guardian, it's kind of not pinpointing one particular guardian per se if you like dragons or mythical things or characters or if you feel you're more attached to an animal per se that gives it more openness for you and me and alliance is just kind of showing the alliance that we have as a group of people or community and i really like that so I'm going to go for this, and if you guys want to be a part of the Alliance and we want to start some kind of trending name type thing, that would be so cool. And if not, that's okay too. <laughs> but um, we have Atlas Dane who did our logo, and I'm working on channel art right now for you guys. It just might take a while because my vision... <laughs> is extremely big for this and for it to turn out right it's going to take probably months and months of intense sketching co um, concept art <laughs> I know it sounds crazy doesn't it but anyways while I'm talking here you've probably been seeing some pre-recorded footage as always just to kick things off and get it started and if you have a birthday in the month of June comment below and let me know this month we'll be celebrating, I believe it's that Cookie Girl's birthday month. And I'll have to look and see if there's any other birthdays that we're supposed to be celebrating in the month of May. But let me know now so that whenever June comes around it'll be easier to celebrate and it won't feel like I'm pressing for time and or may not be able to do it. But just so you guys know that we do celebrate birthdays with each other and birthday packages are sent out as well just to kind of spread the love. So let's kick off our results video. We're going to start out by showing off two honorable mentions, which are the Ninja Turtles pin from, I think it was the Loot Crate, and the oh, Superman stained glass pin from the BAM box, which I really enjoyed. And then we're going to start in at number five, which was a t-shirt from, oh, I don't remember, but it was the original Super Mario concept, and I think it was called Something Jumper. I kind of forgot. And then coming in at place number four was the... Electrified fence sign. I thought that was so cool. It says, warning, do not touch. Electrified fence shows a picture of a raptor <laughs> and a lightning bolt. So, kind of cool if you're trying to showcase an electric fence. Of course, I don't have that, but still. I thought that was really neat and a cool idea. In spot number three is the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade wood model, which also includes a bonus book. So I thought that was pretty neat. And there might even be like a collection of these. Kind of uh, its own thing going on there. In spot number two, I really enjoyed those tiki cups that came in the loot crate. I do think this was an older loot crate, but regardless, there were the Ninja Turtles uh, small little mug things. You could put like any type of drinks in there that you wanted, and 
you could get any of the Ninja Turtles, and we ended up, I think it was Raphael, the one with the red. And I thought those were really nicely designed, even though they were small. Kind of like if you just want to take a sip of something at night. And then in the number one spot, I normally would not be putting a figure in the number one spot, but there was something about this month's Godzilla glow-in-the-dark Godzilla figure. It was insane. It was the older model of the Godzilla, and I thought it was I thought it was great. As far as if I will keep it or not, I don't know, but I really did like the design. I thought it was a very neat figure, and it was a bigger figure, so it was more detailed, and the fact that it glows in the dark is pretty awesome. I don't care what anybody says. But anyways, that is our roundup for this month's Mega Box Showdown. Make sure that you stay tuned to the uh, this month's showdown that's going on right now because so far the mind chest and the loot anime has had some exceptionally awesome items and i'm really excited to crack into the loot gaming here in the next couple weeks and finish up we have four more boxes two of which are loot gaming one loot crate dx and an otaku king but we'll see what we can get around to because as time progresses sometimes i run out of time but we shall see and until next time, you guys have a great day. And if you're down in the dumps, just remember, you are in control and this is your day. So you make it great.